Salut à tous, donc je suis aujourd'hui à Albuquerque en compagnie de Roger Narvaez. Thank you very much Roger for this interview. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. So uh, Roger, uh, you, you are now a UFC fighter. You, you, you did already one fight uh, at the UFC. It was against Patrick Cummings. Unfortunately, uh, you, you lost uh, this, uh, this fight. Uh, and now you have a new challenge uh, upcoming, which is uh, a fight against uh, the English guy, Luke Barnett. Uh, are you excited about this fight? Oh, definitely. You know, um, fighting with Patrick Cummings, I, I took the fight on short, short notice. Uh, it was a, uh, in a heavier weight class, um, so I'm down to my natural weight class fighting Luke. I'm excited. He's a, he's a big guy. He's taller than me uh, by about three inches, but I'm a big guy for the division. Uh, so you're going to have a couple you know, big guys in there swinging and, and uh, trying to put each other out. Uh, Luke um, uh, seemed to be a little frustrated uh, uh, from his last fight, uh, his loss against uh, Sean Strickland. Uh, do you think uh, it will affect him during uh, your fight, you know? Well, I think it's definitely a motivating factor for him. I think he's going to be hungry. Um, you know, nobody likes to, to lose, so I, I think it's going to be fireworks. You know, I'm coming off of a loss, first, first loss ever, amateur or professional. Um, he's coming off of a loss, you know, his first professional loss. And, uh, you know, he likes, to, he likes to bang. He likes to throw, uh, you know, punches, and, and I'll be obliged to, to, to throw them back to him. Uh, how can we manage uh, an opponent with uh, this eight because he's very tall? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, the, the hardest part about this camp has been trying to find somebody his size. Um, and you're just not going to find many guys that are 6'6", six, six, uh, you know, 220 pounds uh, to, to spar with. Uh, so I, I've, I've gotten some taller guys. You know, I've been sparring with guys that are 6'4", 6'5". Um, But, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried too much about his, his range. I, I can, you know, I have a pretty good wingspan. Um, I like to use my jab a lot. Um, and I think it's going to be a good technical fight. You know, I haven't really been able to show my hands. Uh, last fight, Cummins, you know, obviously was a great wrestler. So I had to change up my stance, change up uh, my game plan for that. Uh, but with Luke, I, I'm, I'm excited to stand tall and, and trade jab for jab and, and uh, you know, power punch for power punch and, and see who lands first. So uh, you did uh, your, your fight camp here uh, at Greg Jackson's uh, and Michael Kenjol Academy uh, here in Albuquerque. So you, you sparred uh, with uh, John Jones. Uh, is, he, is, he, is he helping you a lot uh, for, for your fight? Yeah, you know, John, uh, this is actually my first week here. Um, I've known Cowboy uh, and Leonard for a little while now through my coach uh, back home. And, um, you know, being able to work with somebody of John Jones's caliber is a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, you know, he's been, he was gracious enough to, to help me out, give me a few pointers. Um, you know, we didn't really do any kind of hard sparring or anything like that, but just moving around with a guy that size um, and, and feeling, you know, his, his range, his distance. And, uh, you know, he's, the, he's the, the best guy in the world right now in, in his division and uh, he's a beast. So, um, You know, definitely, I don't think Luke's going to move as good as John, but uh, I do definitely appreciate the help, and, and everybody here at Jackson's has been awesome. So it's been a great experience. Are you a, a full-time fighter, or do you uh, still work uh, aside of your uh, training? Yeah, I, I have two full-time jobs. Uh, I'm a full-time fighter, and I'm a full-time firefighter. Um, I work for the city of Corpus. You know, shout out to the boys at Station One uh, in Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, so I do 24-hour shifts, and I'm off for 48 hours, uh, and that's when I do my training. You know, uh, it's funny because my day off uh, from training is going into work, and so sometimes there's, there's, there's weeks where I don't have a day off because we're fighting fire or running calls on the ambulance, and you know, uh, You know, I do this because I love it. Uh, it, it drives me and, and, you know, we might be up all night, you know, the night before I get off of work and I go train. You know, uh, it's something in my heart that I, I just want to do and, and uh, you know, just to get to this level and, and with the resources I have has been amazing and uh, I'm really blessed to, to get as far as I've gotten so far. So we're going to see how far we can take this thing. All right, so we wish you good luck for your fights against Luke Barnett and uh, we wish you the best for your career. Thank you guys. God bless y'all and appreciate the interview.